Okay, so this is a pretty straightforward and easy thing to do. On the IB exam, this is probably the one and only calculate uh, question that you'll have. So the you will have probably they're going to give you these two. So if they do, then you can calculate the time pretty easily. However, if they gave you any, if they gave you this one, the download time uh, and the download speed, let's say you could figure out the um, the file size as well. I mean, it's very very straightforward. So let's get right into it. Okay, so this is a real world problem. We have a guy who wants to download something to his laptop before something, right, before flight. He's got one minute left. So what do we have to take into account? Well, first off, we need to know the file size. So he looks and the movie is 500 megabytes. Now we need to know the download speed to his computer. He puts on speedtest.net and finds out that the download speed is one gigabit per second. It's a cafe with super fast speed. So how long will it take for him to download the movie and can he achieve this? First off, if you don't, you're going to already need to know in your head all of these. Um, these are just some units. So what you'll need to know is that it's always just a thousand, a difference of a thousand, either uh, a thousand less this way and this is a thousand bigger. Yeah? And the other thing you will need to know is this. Okay, so get that into your head. I'm sure you probably know all of these already, but if you don't. All right, so what I said before, this is the file size and this is the download speed, right? So what we're going to do then is we're going to get these two first step on the same unit. So if the easiest thing to do is probably just to go to gigabit. So 500 megabits. You know what? We're going to get it on, on to megabits. I'm sorry. Take that back. So 500 megabytes is how many megabits? So what do we have to do? Just have to take 500 and multiply it by 8. And then we can get 4,000 megabits. If you remember, the big B is for bytes, small b is for bits. And the download speed, bring that up there. This is easy. It's just equal um, to a, a difference of, excuse me, a difference of three decimal points, right? So one gigabit would be 1,000 megabits, okay? So simple, simple, straightforward. The next step then is just to divide. So if you can get one, thousand megabits in one second this ps sorry let me add that on ps means per second so we have 1000 megabits will go down in one uh, second then we have 4000 megabits is the total file size so take 4000 divided by 1000 and you get four obviously so that means it takes four seconds because this megabits will can cancel out this megabits and then you're just left with seconds so it will take four seconds for the file to be downloaded which means that our gentleman here can indeed can he download it well yes he absolutely can so that's it